The Department of Health and Social Care's exciting new Accelerating Reform Fund aims to transform adult social care by encouraging innovation and scaling to make progress towards the government's 10-year vision. DHSC has set out a list of 12 priorities, falling under the vision's three objectives. The first objective is for people to have real choice, control and support over the things that matter to them, to live happier, more independent lives. Priorities in this area are 1. Community-based care models such as shared living arrangements, for example, Shared Lives is a care service matching adults who want to live independently with carers, moving in for short periods, day visits or overnight care. One of Shared Lives' successes has been establishing communities of practice, exploring ways we can scale up regionally. 2. Supporting people through digital or visual tools to give them more choice and control over their care. 3. Helping people to be socially connected to their communities and age well. The neighbourhood networks are key to make Leeds the best city to grow old. 4. Supporting unpaid carers to take essential breaks tailored to their needs. Secondly, people should be able to get outstanding quality of care which relies on care workers feeling valued, properly equipped and trained. Priorities in this area include 5 digital tools to support workforce recruitment and retention. In Essex, an employer referral app is filling social care vacancies by encouraging care workers to recruit friends, bringing in over 1,800 candidates. Six, expanding the way volunteers are used to support people drawing on care and support. Seven, assessing the needs of unpaid carers in a way which focuses on what matters most to them. 8. Supporting and involving unpaid carers when discharging people from hospital. Finally, people should find social care fair and accessible. Priorities here are 9. Digital tools connecting people to a range of different existing community support providers and volunteers, from checking in and helping with shopping, to local groups and activities, gardening and personalised formal care. 10. Social prescribing, connecting people with information, advice, support and services in the community. We support people to be assessed for house adaptations like grab rails and fall sensors and know what benefits they can claim for, reducing emergency hospital admissions. 11. Proactively identifying unpaid carers. 12. Encouraging people to recognise themselves as unpaid carers. Many people don't recognise themselves as a carer and don't consider a carer's assessment. So work reaching out to communities like Encompass in North West England and Tower Hamlets are key. The Accelerating Reform Fund will support at least two projects per integrated care system area. At least one should focus on unpaid carers. Register your interest by the 12th of January 2024. Social Care Institute for Excellence is providing hands-on support. Please email innovation at scie.org.uk.